Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anaya, and today I will be showing you how to draw pretty flowers such as like these. Okay? And so th these are on sale. This is $6, and then these are $5 each. So today I'm going to show you how to draw these flowers. And these are not up on my website yet, so if you want them, you can just email me. You are the first to know about that. So I'll be walking you through with how to make them. So I got what you're gonna need are these are uh, like pellets, like these, and then brushes. This one got ruined. This one is nice. So one really one thickish one and one thin one. I got these from all my I get all my paint supplies from D D Sears like. That's the name, I think, but like it's really hard to say. Okay, so I have a tissue. I got my paintbrushes. I got a paper. It's not normal paper. It's like a little bit harder. And I got my paint. So let's go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of water. We're gonna put it in a red. We're gonna spin it around a little, and then we're gonna do that. You see that? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna make the middle dark, and then we're gonna make a line like that, and it's also dark, and a line like that. It's dark, right? Then again and again and again and and make it like fade it once you're going out so see it's fading so um how this uh, why you do this is because when there's here's the center of the flower okay and then there's petals around it, right? So the petals are blocking the sun. It's going to make a shadow, right? Get this shadow. And it's going to make the inside dark. Okay. And the outside is hit with sunlight, so it's going to be light. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your thin brush and you're gonna use the same color. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna outline some um, places around. When one is faded, you can fade it your line a little. When it's not, you can get Keep it dark a little. And you can do it in the middle too. Oops, it's too thick. I think that's good, right? Okay. Now my next color, I want to do a darker red. No good. Down here. Supposed to be dark. There we go. And remember, practice. Oops, practice makes perfect. So keep practicing. Oh my goodness! I kind of soaked that 
pit over there, so I gotta get more point pit. You can get as big as you want. I think that's a good enough size. I think I may have gone a little too big, but whatever. Like this, like this video if you'd like me to do more tutorials. So yeah, so that's another flower. I think I should have added more lines here, but oh well. Now I'm going to go with the pink. I feel like it's like in the same color, like the whole thing. So I'm making, I'm going ahead and making it darker in the mid center. Okay, that's good. Okay, I think that's way too big. But this was a bigger paper, so I wanted to go a little bigger. I think that's too small. And the pink color. Alrighty, I think it looks pretty good, like, not as good as what I made before, like, when I concentrate, like, it's gonna be pretty good. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna start with the darker red up here, do a dark red. I'll do one more of each color, color, and then I think, yeah. Because, like, you can always cut your paper, to, the paper to the size you want. I basically just do my flowers, and then I cut it to the size I want. Okay, that's really actually that turned out. Not that didn't turn out bad, and it didn't turn out good either. It turned out okay. So now I'm just gonna um like kind of do it at my own pace. This is me going slow. So I'll I'll do it at my own pace now. Okay. Um, this flower. It just takes me a little bit of time to decide what color I'm going to do next. I 
happens when I go faster? Okay, get it. Okay, yeah. I always take long on the lines for some reason, even though it's the easy part. Now, the last color, pink. Oops, I take enough color. Okay, so yeah, this one is the worst one I made, and I think this one is the best one I made for now, but then in this one, I think this one is, this one is the best one I made. So yeah, it just kind of sometimes it depends on how much water you add and you don't add. So yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial. And yeah, see you next time. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. I'm just gonna make a flower thing more. I think I should go slower, actually, not faster. Yeah, see, this is so pretty. Okay, I kind of just ruined it with this big line. Actually, I didn't. Kind of looks like you ruined it. So yeah, let me know how it went for you. Just email me and tell me, send me a picture. How it, how yours turned out. And yeah, see you next. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And again, like and subscribe and share. And hit that not notification button so you know every time we upload a new video. Bye.